from here, we're going to discuss the eight parts of speech one at a time. So the first one we're going to discuss is the nouns. Section 1.04 is all about nouns, and there are quite a few um, videos in this series. And there are a lot of grammatical terms to cover here, something, things that you'll hear for the first time. So you'll need to uh, pay attention and, and try to commit these uh, words to memory as much as you can. Let's take a look. We're talking about common nouns here versus proper nouns. That is one division of talking about nouns. Common nouns. With all nouns, you can describe it as common or proper. And common means it's a general name. It's just a name. It's the regular words that you use, like man, state, building, car, dog, or whatever. Those regular words are all common nouns. And if it's not common, then it's proper, and proper means a particular name of something. So Henry is a particular name of a man. Washington may be the particular name for a state. Twin Towers is the name for a particular building. And uh, notice common words, common nouns are not capitalized, but all proper nouns need to be capitalized. Let's try some exercises here. Let's see, capitalize the proper nouns. Which of these words need to be capitalized? Anything that is a name needs to be in capitals. The Hudson, a river 306 miles long. And the Hudson is a the name of the river. And so we need to capitalize that. A river 306 miles long flows south. South is just direction in this case. Sometimes you will need to capitalize south if it is a part of a name, but not in here. To New York, right? New York we know is a name, so we'll have to capitalize that. And bay is part of the name of that bay. The bay is called New York Bay. It was discovered by a Dutch explorer. Dutch refers to a country, so we'll have to capitalize that, but not the explorer part, right? Henry Hudson is the name of a person, so we'll capitalize that. Try another one. The students who came from China and Japan. All right, we have names of countries. China and Japan need to be capitalized. Preferred science to history. These are just generic subject matters, so no capital is needed. But Esperanto is a language, and English is a language. So Esperanto to English, they both need to be capitalized. Mechanics to music, they're generic subjects, so we won't capitalize them. All, however, were required to take a course entitled Introduction to American Government. And so here, uh, what is a name? Uh, nothing seems like a name except for American. So we definitely need to capitalize American no matter where it appears. But in this case, what we have is a title of a course. This is the name of the course here. And so you might put quotation marks around this to be more proper. Uh, or you might italicize the whole name. When you do that, then this becomes the name of the course. It is a title or the name. And so all big words need to be capitalized. And we're not going to capitalize it too, because that's a small word. Uh, general rule for capitalization is that you capitalize the first word and the last word and any big words in between, okay? Ignore small words like prepositions and uh, articles. Try one more. Both Mammon and Mercury were gods once. Okay, in this case, Mammon and Mercury were names of the gods we're talking about, so we need to capitalize. And we're not going to capitalize the God part. We capitalize it only when we're talking about the Christian God. Um, and any other gods are deities, and that's a generic word. Today, mammon means riches, and mercury signifies a heavy silver-white metallic element. And in this case, today, mammon, when we use the word mammon, we're not really going to capitalize it because we're not talking about the name of anything we're talking about uh, the substance or the idea and that's what mammon and mercury is it's there this is a generic word for that particular substance or idea and so uh, riches 
and the other one the metallic element part these definitions they don't really need capitals either because um, they're just basic words they're generic words there are no um, names involved there so I think that's all we're going to do okay if you anything if you wanted to highlight that these are particular words you might italicize that italicize that okay or put quotation marks around it the definition is certainly needed to be in quotation and that's already done okay and that's it the book that we're using is English made simple and you can purchase this book using the link that's uh, in the comment area or um, if you want to make a small donation to a charity please go to hopegof.org and there's a link to Amazon there if you go through that link to purchase the book, uh, a small percent of that will be donated to the organization. Um, it's a nonprofit organization, charity for helping children around the world. So that would be a small contribution we can make.